We are two sisters with few fears and great ambition, ready to take on the world one ocean at a time. and welcome back to another episode of Sailing, Sailing the Far Side. So this week we finally arrive in Georgetown. We're finally there and of course project time because who are we without a bunch of pro boat projects? Yeah, old boat, lots of projects, you mm -hmm. can't escape it. Outside of Nassau, Georgetown is the next best place for us to get any parts while we're here in the Bahamas. So we did hold off on a few projects before mm -hmm. we were able to get some parts. Mm -hmm. There's a Napa on the island. Um, a lot more parts supply places. So we had a better chance of getting what we needed. Uh, we went grocery shopping. The fresh produce just arrived. We found everything we needed to get. It was kind of like Christmas in food terms <laughs> because we just like stocked up and it was pretty inexpensive as well. Compared to the, the Exuma Islands. <laughs> Have him do tricks again. Raya. Raya. You want to you you give her a treat? Yeah. Stop. Tell her to sit. Sit. No, here. Take this egg and tell her to dance. No, you gotta. All right, take this egg and say, Dance, Raya. No. <laughs> No, go like, so wait, watch, watch how I do it. Say, no, pick your hand up. How about now? Sit, All right. sit, dance. Sit. Dance. There we go. <laughs> Very cute puppy. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Have a good day. All right. Are you going to let? Sure. Groceries, pretty inexpensive at Exuma Market, but we found out that what's the other place called? Shoprite. At Shoprite's a little cheaper. So whatever we had in the basket, we got, and then which was a decent amount of veggies, fresh fruits and veggies, and some other non-perishables. Didn't spend too much, so that was kind of nice. But we're gonna go to Shoprite and see if they have any cheese and uh, some other things. Stopped by Shoprite, got the rest of our things. Didn't get any yogurt. Got some grapes and bread and cheese. And we got this guava, guava bread, I think. Apparently it's delicious. So that's our treat for today. Now we just need to get rum. Got our rum. And we got some Rattlers. Gonna try that out. Hello. Hello. All right, don't got all our groceries, and now we go back. Well, project number one was to 
install our 750 watt inverter. Mm -hmm. All of our smaller inverters pooped out, so we didn't have anything to charge our devices. Uh, I kind of made a really big oopsie, <laughs> which you'll see. And <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe she got it on video. Yeah, and so that set me back on installing the inverter a little bit. So we had an old 200 watt inverter that kind of pooped out on us, but it also wasn't enough to power up our computers. So we have this beast of an inverter, uh, 750 watt. So this shouldn't cause us any more problems, but we had it, I'll show you. So the beast inverter, as you can see, we have it connected here to our main battery bank. This is a ground wire main battery bank. So that is not ideal. We have to take our entire panel off to get to our wiring system. And um, yeah, this just is not the greatest idea as I'm sure all of you <laughs> will think as well. So I have this wire set up right here. And um, this side is gonna be going to the inverter. And then this side, this one will go straight to the main battery bank. And this is gonna be a ground wire. So I'm going to attach a smaller loop. I'm not quite sure what this is called. I'm gonna attach this to the wire. So this will go straight to the ground panel. And then this will go around the battery, uh, battery bolt and then these will come up through to the inverter. So as you can see, I drilled a larger hole up here, which is where the wires are gonna go through, and we're gonna have it sit right here next to our panel breaker box. And then the ground wire, the ground bus bar, is, is right where these little black, black, where that black panel is, so there's an open, uh, there's an open part on the panel. So I'm going to attach the black wire to the panel and then I'll run a red cable down and the main battery bank is right here. So I don't have to run it too far. So we actually use a much thicker wire here than uh, original, needed a lot more power. So I believe this is a 12 or 16 gauge, it's a much thicker wire. And as you can see, drilled two holes to have them go through. One's connected to the ground over here. You can see that's where it's connected to the ground box, ground bar, bus bar. The other cable goes down to the battery switch. So actually much thicker cables because there's a lot of power going through there. And that's how we did that. Thanks to that oopsie, we had to go make a run to the Napa auto mm -hmm. parts store, which surprisingly they had on the island. We were told that they had a lot of marine parts and this specific nut that I dropped mm -hmm. was very thin thread um, and not very commonly found. Even in the US it's difficult to find. So we went on the hunt. We also had to find a bearing for our um, windlass, which you'll see. So we went on a three mile dinghy ride <laughs> while Natalie entertained herself and the dogs on the beach. I went on the hunt. We didn't um, want to leave the dinghy at the beach. Uh, we heard that sometimes people, they see a dinghy, they take it, so. Yeah. Good. 
trying to get to the road and I can't seem to find a good way of going. Well, I need to get to the marine store and I need to get to the road first. So it looks like I'm gonna have to do a walk through the jungle. Oh, road. Oh, B. Just a short walk to the marine store from the beach. Need to get a few parts for the boat that the local the local parts store didn't have. So they have actually a, they have an Napa Auto Pier here that is also a marine store. That wasn't too bad of a walk. They have everything in here. It's like walking into a Lowe's or a Home Depot. Just keeping an eye on the dinghy. Might take a nap. Update. I found a chair. Might take a nap. Sasha's taking a long time. No. <laughs> now I'm at the lumber store. I love you too. Yeah, you should check out our YouTube. Cowboys and Cooks. Yeah, we're called Sailing the Far Side. Okay. No, it's for um, it's for a boat, so it has to be thick. This is yeah, not this is tough. Yeah, it's like this thick around. It's for like a stuffing box on a boat, so it's not like tape. It's like strips. Teflon. No, I know. Allie taking a little nap while she was waiting for me. Hey, you told me to stay. I could have gone. She had to watch the dinghy. Look how yeah. beautiful this is. You find anything? Nope. Nothing at all? Nope. I had no luck with finding anything. Without any success in any project, we tried to complete and uh, <laughs> we started and tried to find. Really to we took a pause and played some volleyball, which Sasha nor I are coordinated on land, so it was, it was pretty fun. Yeah. We had a good time. Hung out with some friends. Yeah. It was a great time. <laughs> we got some conch salad, some french fries. Sasha, are we going to go play volleyball? Yeah. Right now, go. I'm not very good at it. I mean, they look pretty good, but we got this. Let's go join. Oh, what's that? Engine mountain projects. We were looking for four by fours. That's like a good forearm workout. Well, two by fours are more. <laughs> So our friends from High Fang were next to us. We all played volleyball together, and later on, uh, we got a call on the radio asking us to come over from Captain John. Uh, he's a pretty funny guy, so uh, him and uh, Tim and Doug invited us over, and you'll you'll see why I'm laughing. <laughs> Bring your cards and we're gonna play Big Chief. Yeah, cool. Come on down. <laughs> oh! We're ready to party! Alright, we're ready to party! <laughs>
All right, uh, after dinner, we'll head on over there. See you soon, John and Tim and Doug. <laughs> the cops? All right. Yeah. John, what game are we playing? We are playing cheat. <laughs> oh, is it bullshit? bullshit. American <laughs> bullshit. Okay. Sasha, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Oh. How are you doing? What have you got in that car? <laughs> Not much now. That's a fire <laughs> Doug, how are you doing? Doing great. How are you doing? Mama, how are oh, you doing? Right. <laughs> Watch your dog trees in, the, in the flow, in the flow. All right, she doesn't have any seven. <laughs> <laughs> now, who is this? I got seven. After having a great night with Hai Fang, we started the next day off with some morning yoga, which was very much appreciated by our bodies but also not something we're good at. Uh, our coordination surprised us, but- I don't, I don't mind, I'm a good yoga stir. Yoga, our coordination yogi. surprised us, and uh, yeah, enjoy us trying to figure out yoga. <laughs> Rain, rain, keep coming. The boat needs a wash down. And you can't hold your breath? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that looks really good. Look at that. Oh, that one is not my taste, but it looks good to some people. Works for Sasha. <laughs> Sasha likes pig butts. <laughs> pig butts, not big butts. Not <laughs> like... <laughs> Wait, what else do we got over here? <laughs> we got, ooh, ooh, patatas. Patatas and frittatas. Nice. Happy day of love, everyone. <laughs> no? Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Wow, that took forever. <laughs> they love me, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had a few more boat projects yep so it's time i finally got around to cleaning the carburetor um didn't really have time before and while sasha was fiddling with the inverter and trying to find the nut in the abyss of the boat uh i took apart the carburetor i didn't do a very good job of filming unfortunately but i took all the little pins and and balls and springs and jets and everything sprayed everything put it back together and it worked cleaning that helped big time big time yeah all right so i'm taking apart this carburetor and that looks like some dirt right there came out of the carburetor. 
Hmm. Moment of truth. Drop it. Drop it. Yeah, good job. You're it. Maybe I should try running it. You just have to run it, yeah. And while Natalie was cleaning the carburetor, I putzed around with our windlass because it started heating up that motor and we took it apart. We decided, you know, we had to figure out what was going on with it. We couldn't have it sparking, heating up, all that. Turns out our bearing was completely toast. Mm -hmm. The bearing in the bottom of the motor. So oh, when the God. motor turns around, it's twisting on this bearing, which is also keeping it centered on um, the contacts and the plates where the magnets are rotating around. I, a whole thing. I've become very familiar with how motors work. Google it. It's very, a lot to explain. But we, yeah, the bearing was toast. And that was another part that we weren't able to find at Napa Auto Parts. Mm -hmm. We met some new friends the day before on Spirit Animal. Um, Raph is very handy and has a whole bunch of um, tools and stuff. So he was able to help us make it think of and make a replacement bearing or temporary bearing till we were able to replace that part properly. Mm -hmm. So thanks, Raph. Yeah. Greatly appreciate, appreciate it. it. We're going to be tagging his YouTube yeah. channel. Check him up here in the card. Spirit Animal. He's got a pretty, pretty entertaining YouTube channel, so yeah. worth the check out. And for another round of the Far Side Boat Projects that are never ending. Why else would you be on a boat than to do boat projects? Anyways, um, so our windlass wasn't working and it turned out that the motor was, these plates were not sitting straight. The contacts weren't sitting straight, so it caused some grinding. Found out that the bearing here, you can see. Was, it was off-centered caused some grinding and found out that it was the bearing. The bearing is shot. shot. So No way, no. That's not good. So we're going to clean out the motor here. Make sure it's nice and clean. No oil in the contacts. or And no grease in the contacts. And then um, figure out what to do about the bearing. Hopefully we can figure that out. Or not least going to be getting a good workout. <laughs> We're, All we're right, rolling. we're good to go, man. <laughs> Got the uh, windless motor and sanded her down. See if she fits. Yeah, good. Sweet. That's a nice snug What? Look at that. Air, and this will go clean, clean air. As a bean. Wow. So, well, so you went and helped us out because we found bushings but no bearing. Yeah. So we had to kind of jerry rig something together. Definitely. Bunch of copper bushings to replace a bearing that had that was torn apart. So yeah. it's rigged. Should work we didn't even know while. it was torn apart. Like thank Ooh. God we took it off. But appreciate it. When are you gonna put it in? Right now. Right now. The outside was good, then you had to drill out the inside, so you had to hold the outside with pliers. Can't really see. Okay, turning. Oh, wow. so the, the pliers of this? Catch and the pliers would grab it. After fixing our windlass, we went over to Spirit Animal and had a few other yachters come over, and we did a little celebratory Valentine's Day cheers. Yes. We've met a great group of people out here and it was just the start of 
the ne uh, next amazing few weeks. So you yes. guys better stay tuned because stay tuned and buckle your seatbelts because you are in for a wild ride. Yeah, it's well, just getting good. It's just getting good. Just getting good. That's all for now, folks. Hope you enjoyed sailing the far side on your Thursday afternoon. Make sure to check out all the links, share with your friends. If you want some up to date, um, you know, the status of where we are up to date, go on Facebook, Instagram. And also, don't forget to subscribe. There's a subscribe button here in the corner. You can go to our page and subscribe. If you want to know exactly when our videos are coming out, click the little bell. One day I'll figure out how to put that in our YouTube video, mm -hmm. but just click the little bell. Um, but yeah, thanks again for following. Please comment. Tell us what you liked about this video. Tell us what we need to work on. Just say hi. We will reply. We will reply. Uh, we appreciate you guys' um, involvement in our channel, our lives. It's really cool to have you all following along. But mm -hmm. thanks again. This is Sasha. And Natalie. On Sailing, Sailing the Far, Far Side. Side. Okay, that's good. All right. So, done.